Where's that Bernie Nash? Where's that Bernie Nash? Oh, we got Bernie Nash here. Bernie Nash want to help? Hmm. Is that Bernie Nash going to help? Did... All right, we're back. Uh, been a busy week. When we last left off, I left you hanging with this slow cooker uh, with the power supply and the control board removed. Uh, generally, I like to repair what I can. Um, and usually the things I look for on these are this relay and or something with the power supply. But I went down the rabbit hole with this thing. Um, this power supply, I checked it eight ways to Sunday, every component on it, every component on this thing. And it kept doing the same thing. There was one diode that I replaced and it powered up. But then the power would just fade off, according to the display. So I put the scope on it checked every part i had everything out one by one um and it kept doing the same thing it would come up respond for a second and then just duck out to nothing um the only thing i found after checking all these parts was it seems like this processor is failing it powers up and then fails so when that happens you buy the replacement and make it a much quicker job than what it was so let's get into this so when we left off we had opened up the slow cooker sorry for the glare it's going to be a lot of it and what we need to do is now replace these new components now i would almost say to do a bench test on the new parts but I think we're just going for broke. We're going to put this thing back together and fire it up. Because we can get this apart pretty easily. So, simply what we've got is we've got the yellow and the white is the heater band that goes around this. Then we've got the black that goes into this bottom sensor spring thing with the thermocouple and probably some kind of um, overtemp cutoff, a thermal fuse, hopefully not, but so we've got our hot and line comes in, the blue goes all the way to the board, the red goes into that thermal protection, comes back out, and it's going to go into the board. So we took a picture of this. So what we can do is we can get this guy on here. Now we're still off with safety. This is still locked out. Nothing's been fired up. So what we're going to have is we're going to have the white on our out too. That's our band done nicely we've got our line it's gonna be our black got our blue is the neutral now I want to remind you if you don't know how to deal with voltage level AC don't do this get somebody else to do it and the other side of our band is gonna be the yellow it goes on there we go so we had this little flippy gizmo here. Get our wires in between. Everything's nice and tight. That's protected there. We've got the same thing on this side. This little flip up. Come on. Wires can go in. And we're also going to add our thermocouple. And a the thermocouple is going to go right here. There's not a lot to these things. Which I thought for sure it was going to be an easy power supply fix. Um, I generally like to try and fix stuff. It saves you shipping time and it's not always faster. Up. We're going to slide this right in here. We're going to avoid pinching any wires. And line up our four holes got these four holes here and these phillips head screws they were not the torques the torques were on the bottom
So we've got that mounted it. Now we almost could do a field test right now. But let's just let's just get it all back together. <clears throat> so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this. Should I take that back? Let me slow down. So right now we've got to get these four screws into these or those those four holes into these screws and these are the torques and it was the four small ones right yeah because the big ones went for that housing now i bet you i don't have a torx here ready to go no that's not that oh there we go I want to get this in position so I get a little more control here. Now at this point you see this is where it gets kind of tight. You don't have a whole lot of room to work with. Check all your wiring, nothing's pinching. We can support this part. If you try and take those screws out, when it's all still together, you're never gonna get this thing together. to fight let's go the right way get them up there tight you're pinching this thing you want this to go together and you, you don't want to look at this no more good so now this this does get a little fun right here let's zoom out a bit so this gets a little fun right here because you're gonna want you're gonna have to get this lip inside this now this thing's got sharp edges so please be careful i'm showing you this just to show what i did I'm not telling you this is what you're supposed to do You can use a regular wrench if you have. Make sure everything's down and tight. Nothing's pinching. You got this wire section right here. Make sure he doesn't get all pinched. And tighten it good. You're going to be using this in your kitchen. Other people want to be safe. Okay, so now technically, <clears throat> we could plug this in now. Now, once again, I want to remind you, if you have not dealt with electricity like this, let a train, train professional do it. When I find one, I'll bring them over. I have equipment that's safety. So I'm not going to get shocked. Have isolation transformer, variac fuses, dim bulb. I got everything to stay protected. So are we going to get a 
good result on this. I apologize. The glare is just terrible. And there's our clock. Can you even see that? So there's our clock. It was not doing any of this before. Yep. All the LEDs were staying on. Now we've just got the single. So let's go high. I have no clue how to work this thing. Now there we go. Well, that wasn't right. Ooh, it's powered on. We've got a red light here. And we're pulling current and our band's getting hot. Okay, we're going to shut this off. I think it's hot off. All right, I'm going to turn it off and disconnect it. Put our safety back on if we need. Now all we've got left is this. Got these little ledges right here. Here and here that need to go inside this slot. And that's a little tight, but we're gonna take that. So, I mean, you probably could take this sticker all the way off I felt that thread catch. Now this is the one we took out. And if you notice, we didn't need to take it out. You just leave it in there. It won't really fall out on you. stickers that sticker for the most part is going to be held down in there when this clear cover goes on so as long as it doesn't look too chewed up we're going to be okay and it's going to lay it down flat so now we've got this clear cover now if you look on the, the top it's got a slot in the top here it's got a slot in the top and this little plastic tab that's going to go in that slot. Okay, so we can put that in. Then we really need to get a good bow going. So we can get one side in. Put one side in, get the top in. And it's hard to show you that. You, you might have to experiment with it and see how it works for you. But if you get everything lined up and you, you get that to bow outward, it'll, it'll shrink the plastic enough to snap in there and then it'll expand. So all we've got left is these two on the bottom. It takes a little wrestling to get it into place. The holes are lined up, it's finger tight. I think we tighten these up fully, right? Yeah.
Everything's moving nice and smooth. And plug it in one more time. Give it the power. And we got that. We can even see the backlight. The backlight wasn't working. And it's just funny how that displays. See how it gives you that rainbow effect? There are on. Our red LED is on. We got all that. So it does have it set to high. It's our time. Is our temperature. Cook time, eight minutes. Looks like it's got multiple. I don't know what I'm doing, but. There was our beep. It's cook and warm. And that looks good to me. It's heating up. You know, fingerprints. All right, well, thanks for joining me on that little journey. Um, sometimes you can't fix them. You got to replace parts. Not my favorite thing to do, but uh, sometimes you, you got no other choice. Just buy the replacement parts. Small boards. It wasn't very expensive. It's a nice little repair. You can get a little more, a few more years out of it. So like, subscribe. I'll see you next time.